Today's episode is brought to you by Skillshare. So I have a little surprise for you. Today we're meeting up with someone very special here in Ohio, but you're just gonna have to wait and see. I can't tell you right now. <laughs> also, apparently I haven't been washing my hair with shampoo. It's been conditioner this whole time. I should go probably ask for some shampoo before I leave <laughs> and forget. So you're with me here again for the third time here in Ohio. I brought my film camera with me just in case. <laughs> I'm not making that mistake again. I'll tell you that much. So there it was, sitting on my hands, crying because I missed my Leica M6. And then I had a brilliant idea. Wait, why don't I just call Trev? He lives in Ohio. I mean, he could be my own little private tour guide of his little slice of Ohio. So, I drove two hours to surprise him. <laughs> he loved it. Don't ask me how I got his address. You don't wanna know. My original Ohio video didn't really touch on Trev. Not like that, you pervert. Trev deserves his own video. Duh. I mean, he's Trev the Dark Room Lee. <laughs> so, if you're sick of seeing Ohio, well, you're just gonna have to deal with it. But just to let you know, this is the last one. I mean, I have to share all the goodness with you peeps. You deserve it. But don't worry, he was super excited to see me. So excited, actually, that he let me borrow his Pentax 6.7. So in the spirit of having both 35 millimeter and 120 at my disposal, I decided, hmm, maybe today's a great day to do a gold review. That's exactly what none of you are asking for. I mean, let's all just jump on the bandwagon together and go to Golden Vibe Town, baby. And all these images you're gonna see today were both scanned and developed at the darkroom. So a massive thanks to Trev. So after being super surprised, shocked, and a little bit aroused. We took a walk around the university. This campus is so beautiful. Ohio's really growing on me right now. I'm, I'm a big fan of all this nature and green. It does something for the psyche. Look who it is. Look who I found. It's Trevor Lee. How's it going? Yeah, that's gonna be a banger. <laughs> that's for you, Birgit. Right. Now, right. Yes. I know, like ten years ago, that was the case. So, gold. What can I say? It's here in 120, and. It's new, but isn't gold made from the backwash of the Kodak employees? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. But that was the 35 millimeter version, but now they've added a little dash of paprika to it. Wow, so fetch. But hot take, damn, it looks good. Tadpole. Trev copping my shot. <laughs> it was his first. <laughs> so after Trev and I strolled hand in hand through the university, we decided to go for a weekend drive through the countryside. And at this point, I decided to put some 35 millimeter gold into my newly acquired Bessa. I mean, I really wanted to see if Kodak Gold looked the same in 35 and 120. I mean, this is a gold review, right? 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 Honestly, I'm not sure why these two shots are drastically different. Shot this scene with no filter, 
Hashtag no filter. <laughs> <laughs> So, what do you want to know about the new Kodak Golden 120? I mean, it's good. Uh, it's really good. Uh, I mean, it's like portrait good. Am I being a little dramatic? Yeah, but you should know me by now. So after that, we ended up going back to Trust Place, having a little beer break and some family time. During a story time where I was holding the cheese and talking about an octopus, Trev loosely uttered the words abandon and maul in the same sentence. I mean, those are two of my favorite words. And immediately I said, I mean, what are we doing here? <laughs> Let's go. That is definitely dated. <laughs> they don't even pretend. OMG popsicle sticks. This mall was so cool. I mean, and to be fair, it wasn't quite abandoned. There was remnants of some businesses around. Actually, this place kind of looked like Starcourt Mall. Well, without a giant demogorgon and uh, mullets, but everything else was the same. I loved how this place looked like it hadn't been touched since the 80s. I just really wanted to live in there. And I guess I would have to just survive off the gumballs. Yeah, I'm shooting at 1-4 and a 60th with this guy. 1-4 and a 60? Oh, I was at 15 right there. Oh, but you're a rangefinder, which is easier with that, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more just in case. You are here. I think something. I think, that is awkward. <laughs> I think. I think they misplaced us. <laughs> That's really funny. All the gumball machines. This is where my friend's store was. Oh my God. I almost died in New Jersey. But before we move on, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community that can offer you a menagerie of different classes. These classes can open your imagination to a whole new host of creative endeavors. And they really have a ton of classes to choose from. Two things that I love in this world is my iPad and typography. And I guess there's, there's definitely more things too, but those are just two of them. But if I can make motion title sequences on my iPad while sitting on the couch drinking wine, I'm all in. So I started this class from Trace Capone called Typography in Motion, Animating Type in Adobe Fresco. Long title, cool class. It helps me with new ideas on how to introduce different animations in my typography. And the great thing is some of these classes are less than an hour. And the cherry on top is that there are no ads. So your creative juices can continue to flow while you binge your favorite classes. And their entire catalog is now available with Spanish, French, Portuguese, and even German subtitles. So if you feel like upping your game with a new skill, or making that ever important career jump, Skillshare has your back. For the first thousand people to use the link in the description box below, or my code Bad Flashes, we'll get a one month free trial to Skillshare. So click that link in the description box below, and let's go learn some things together. Okay, back to gold. There's Trev, always by the wall. That's what I've noticed, that's your shooting style. The angle, the wall angle. Nice. 
grabs whip. <laughs> oh yeah, the other thing about Kodak Golden 120 is that it can handle overexposure and underexposure quite well. So, that's another thing. Honestly, it's really just great to have another 120 film in the arsenal. And the fact that it's so great is awesome. And it's cheaper, so that's awesome too. In the beginning, I really wasn't a huge fan of the Golden 35 millimeter, but this larger format has opened my eyes to this cheaper portrait sister. The property tax on a town? Dudley man. I know, right? <laughs> I just have to say, if it wasn't clear already, I just had an amazing time with Trip. We had a great day just driving around, shooting the shit, and taking photos. I'm so glad he was able to hang out that day. I absolutely love days like this. As you can probably tell, this review really wasn't all that technical. I didn't really want to dive into the deep end of all the tech specs. Mostly just because, you know, it's done before and, uh, well, you know, I didn't want it. I mean, what's there to say? It's actually a great film stock and I really, really like it. Honestly, it's probably going to be my new go-to film stock for 120. Mostly because it's just really versatile. So, I can't be mad at that. At the end of the day, I mean, you probably just wanted to see some images with this sexy new stock. And see me have a man crush on Mr. Trevorly. And if not, if you really wanted me to dive into the tech stuff, I'm sorry. I didn't. Thank you, Kodak, for bringing me film. I love it so much. More film, yeah. This is an SAG, apparently a singing episode now. I guess, what else is there to say? Cold is great. Give it a go. I'm glad to be of some guidance. Okay, see you next time. <laughs> Bye. King size bed, all for me, all for me.